Broadcasting from Nanuki, Kenya. This is the Me and Lay Reality Video Show. LTL Editorial News for January 13, 2011. Yes, LTL is back again. Broadcasting. Yes, you talking about it's over the airways. Yes, thanks to the help of YouTube. It is over the airways, so if you got a problem with that, get with YouTube. Yeah, I want you to come on down to Kenya, get with me, and see what I would give you. Bam, bam. But anyway, as Diplomat Cable to you, U.S. President Barack Obama, as me, LTL, as the U.S. Diplomat, for Africa, giving you a diplomat cable on the voting process of the Southern Sudan referendum of day five, day five that is. Sir, I want to address that right now is over 60% of Southern Sudanese that have voted, I think the others are scared because they think the militia men will uh, start shooting them and killing their people, kidnap them, or something, sir. But I believe it's going to be close to 80%. Right now, there's plenty of people who are just lazy, plenty of people who are of, um, and I'm going to say this, of a Muslim uh, tribe. They don't want to vote. They want to cover their palace with black. I don't know why, sir, but sir, all they had to do is just vote. They'll be all right. They'll be happy because they'll be, they could be happy going to Abai to get oil and be able to get water without being shot or kidnapped because the Southern Sudanese Army, Liberation Army is now helping the people now and, and the militia men from the northern Sudan are player haters. They hate everybody, including Justin Bieber in the United States. Well, who doesn't love him? <laughs> because here he is, he gets gravy trained by his parents, Usher, and of course, Pimp Diddy, I mean P. Diddy, so much that on his 16th birthday, he can get his car, his Land Rover, his car of a, a, I guess it was a Lamborghini, was able to get uh, Mr. Sean, yo, Mr. Kingston to go and get some yogurt. That's right, they are really player-hating the militia men for Northern Sudan too. But they wouldn't have no problem, sir, if I make the request, sir, President Barack Obama, to have Jimmy Carter and George Clooney to get on the bus and go across the border to pick up the rest of the southern Sudanese who are stranded up there. They don't have no money. George Clooney got a lot of money. He's a millionaire. And of course, Jimmy Carter is a millionaire too because he's the founder of Habitat where they can build houses and George Clooney, of course, ER, and Ocean Eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And after 21, he said he's going to stop after that. But anyway, what's, what's the deal is they need to negotiate with Northern Sudan with Al Bashir, tell them that we need to pick up the Southern Sudanese from Northern Sudan because already you player hated and you shot the bus driver who was trying to pick him up. You shot him and killed him. I know they're not going to the Hague or anywhere. They won't be tried for anything. But if they had Jimmy Carter and George Clooney to come up there, they could negotiate in getting a trade, the Southern Sudanese for George, George Clooney video series of ER and Ocean 11, 12, 13, 14. Get those. And it should be no problem. They will enjoy it. They could be entertained at their home. Also, if they don't have a home, Jimmy Carter can volunteer himself, sir, with a group to uh, get timber and start building their homes because he's the master of habitat. And it could be a habitat around the world, especially in northern Sudan. Of course, in southern Sudan, he's, he's, he's hooking them up there, too. But in northern Sudan, it should be hooked up, and it should be no problem. The southern Sudanese can come down back home to vote and feel relaxed. The northern Sudanese who's in southern Sudanese, I know they're going to be foreigners at the... Uh, the votes have been counted, and next month, when they split in two, because Al Bashir don't want to have nothing to do with them, they say they're foreigners, but Southern Sudanese will uh, go ahead and accept them and embrace them. Their money is good and everything. So, sir, President Barack Obama, I'm asking, the talks are over. Let's negotiate, let's make it happen. All action. I'll be back after this on the LTL Editorial News.